You are welcome to Remedial One platform for learning. This is your number one platform for learning integrated science. Today, our discussion to WASI Practicals, that's paper three, question number two. There is a diagram here, and this diagram below is an illustration of a farm animal. Study the illustration carefully and answer the questions that follow. So we are going to study this diagram carefully and then we answer the questions that follow. So let, let's look at the questions that follow. The first question is identify the type of farm animal illustrated. Identify the type of farm animal illustrated. So let's look at the, the farm animal again. This is the animal. So what type of farm animal is illustrated in this diagram? So let's look at the right answer. The answer is bull. That is a male cattle. If you just write cattle, you are wrong. The answer is male cattle or you can write bull so that is the correct answer so that now let's look at the second question name one breed each of the farm animal that are humped or humped the type of or the breed of farm animal that are humped and so the answer is white fulani they normally have humped at their back and we also have sokoto gudali or you can also write Abraham. So any one of them is accepted or any other correct answer is also accepted. Then those ones that are harmless. So we can have Ndama, we have Muturu, we have Kuri, we have Mayombe, we have others. So you can name any one of these answers and you are good to go. So that is the answers for the questions A and B. Question C. We are still referring to the same diagram for question C. Name each of the parts labeled I, 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 and IV. So let's look at the parts again. So the part labeled I. So this is the part labeled I. What is the name of this part? But the correct answer is E. Don't write ES because it is pointing to only one of the ES. So the correct answer is E. Or you can also write PIN. Then I I. What is the name of the part label I I? The correct answer is horn. Don't write horns. The name for I I I is tail. And then IV is testicle. Or you can write testis. So any of them is accepted. Testicle or testis. Or you can even write scrotum because the diagram or the pointer is pointing to that part. So you can either write scrotum, testis, or testicles. They are all accepted. So these are the names of the part labeled I I I. And I, I, I. Now let's go to question D. State the importance of each of the part label I, 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 and I, I, I. So what are the importance of the ear, the horn, and then the tail? So the ear or pinna, the ear is used for hearing or listening. And it is also used to drive away flies. So the ear is used to drive away flies and it is also used for hearing or listening. Any one of them is accepted. Then let's look at the part labeled I I, which is the horn. What is the importance of the horn to the animal in the diagram? So the horn is used for defense or for fighting. It is also used for scratching body parts. So it is also used for scratching of body parts. And then it is also used to protect the head from injury. So any one of them is accepted. So because the question is state the importance of each of the par label I, 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 I. So any one of them is accepted. So if it, then the par labeled I, 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 what is the tail? What is the function of the tail of the animal? It is used to drive away flies. It is also used to reduce irri uh, irritation of fly swatter. It is also used for courtship. It is for, used for courtship and then also for communication. It is also used for navigation or balancing during movement. So these are the importance of the tail to the animal. Now let's go to the next question, which is question E. Name one management practice that could be performed on each of the part labeled II and IV. So what are the part labeled II and IV? Let's look at the diagram again. Let's look at it. So II is the horn and then IV is the testis. So what management practice could be done on the horn? We call it the horning. Horning, that is cutting of the horn. We call it the horning. And then for the testis, we call it castration. Castration, that is removal of the testicles from the animal. We call it castration. So let's look at the answers again. So we have the horning for the horn. Then we also have castration for the testis. So that is that. In fact, this answer was provided by a student, which is wrong. So it is the horning, not yet much.
it is the honey. And then state one reason for performing each of the management practices named in E. State one reason for performing each of the management practice in E. So II, the parallel II again, horn. So what management practice is performed on the horn? I said the honing. So the question, why do we do the honing? Why do we do the honing? In fact, the reason is that if you do the honing, you can easily handle the animal and also prevent destruction to the house or it also prevents fighting uh, so that it, uh, the animals will not harm themselves. Then the testers, why do we do castration? Castration is done to promote growth because when the animal is castrated, that animal becomes sexually inactive. It doesn't meet indiscriminately. Therefore, the animal grows well and then uh, it becomes fattened. Castration is done to promote growth or to fatten the animal. And of course, once the animal grows and becomes fat, the market value also improves. So it is also used to improve market value. And of course, as I said, it is done to prevent indiscriminate crossing or mating. Also, once they are not mating indiscriminately, it also prevents venereal diseases. Though I didn't record it here, but it is also another reason for castration to prevent venereal diseases. And lastly, to make the animal docile or easy to handle, just like in the case of the honing, it makes the animal docile and easy or easy to handle. So these are the expected answers to that question number two. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and then you like this video. Next time, come your way with question number three. Thank you very much. My name is Samuel Enchi.